I've lost my good stuff. All right, well, this is unrehearsed, so we're going to keep doing it. Okay, I gotta use a tool, but not to light the fire now or process the wood. I'm having trouble getting my matches out. I put uh, some. Uh, come on, Marley, get back. Get back. Come on. Get out of the fire. Get out of the fire. some sand cloth in here to light it. These are barn burners and uh, I have them dipped in, in wax. Remember Mark, uh, uh, Mark when I said about these things getting drawing moisture? Get out of the darn fire, dog. Come on. Help me out here, dog. a striker.
Okay, I kind of blew the one match fire because my matches were damp. So I went back to the old method. A little piece of char cloth, a little bit of jute, and uh, my flint and steel. And uh, what's kind of amazing, that's the first flint and steel fire I've made. Oh, God, I don't know how long because I was, my, my flints was all bad. I'd used them for over many, many years, and they, I couldn't get a spark on them. So I sent and traded uh, on another site for some uh, flint so I could teach my grandson how to do this. And uh, so there you have it. Unrehearsed. I know I didn't get one match fire. I'm bad. But I did something that I haven't done in a long time. And uh, these weeds, I just picked them up along people's fences in town here. And uh, I lost my uh, good tinder. I, I, uh, you'll see a little segment of that. Uh, I was showing carb. The dead stuff that's underneath, deep towards the trunk, that's always good tender. Uh, your cedar, your, you know, just any, any uh, conifers. And uh, like I said, this is this is unrehearsed. I picked this stuff up on the way in. Uh, kind of get, uh, kind of got cabin fever real bad. Dog wanted to get, go out for do his business, and I thought, well, why not? I'll try it. But uh, yeah, this this uh, this has been in my pack for a backup, and I had dipped these uh, matches in uh, paraffin a long time ago, about two years ago, and. Uh, I don't open this very often, and I think the last time I had it open uh, was about a year ago. I really don't open it much. I guess the, the rubber gasket really didn't keep the, the uh, moisture out of it. And uh, so anyways, have a nice day. and. Uh, Maybe next time I'll have a, uh, a match that'll actually light. But I wanted to show you, I, this is not re rehearsed in any way. with flint and steel, one little piece of charred cloth on a real small bird's nest. And there you have it. If I wanted to, I could boil water and make myself a, a cup of tea or hot cider. live over that way so I'm really in town I don't get uh, get out out in the woods too much this is a lot actually uh, between the river and the dike out here to keep the river from flooding uh, after the 72 flood they built uh, the dike I don't know if you guys can see that dike there there's one over there too